Hey everyone, welcome back to my last 11 plus video in this 11 plus playlist. This video is on 11 plus top tips. Okay, so in this video, we've provided some top tips and advice to help guide you through the 11 plus process. So tip number one, make sure to check your local authorities' websites for details, which are specific to the 11 plus that your child will be taking. These websites are a useful go-to for information including key dates and detailed information regarding the exams in your area. Top tip two, some people find it useful to speak to other parents about the 11 plus process and there are plenty of forums online where you can share your experiences and discuss with other like-minded people. For example, we've provided you a link here that you can um, take a look at and you'll be able to discuss um, using their forum and pick up information regarding independent schools admissions. Top tip three, make sure you have identified your child's strengths and weaknesses before you begin revision sessions. Have a look at our advice above for tips on how to do this. So once you have narrowed down the topics um, your child finds most difficult, you can then tailor their revision and avoid the mistake of giving too much weight to topics that they are already confident with. Top tip four, similarly, ensure that you try different methods of revision and see which one suits your child best. If you can identify the type of learning that suits your child early on, they will find retaining their knowledge much easier. Try different methods to see which ones uh, work best some children find mnemonics useful, for example, and some are visual learners. Top tip five, encourage your child to participate in active revision. Practice papers will get them used to the style of the exam that they'll be taking and make the real paper less daunting on the day. Try testing your child under time conditions for even more realistic practice. Ensure your child is in good habits in the weeks and months leading up to the exams. By this we mean sleeping at regular times, eating well and staying active. This may feel obvious but all of these things can really build your child up and give them the best chances of performing in their exams. Top tip 7. Many parents find a reward system helps their child to get through, get through revision sessions and encourages their studies. Small rewards when your child is doing well can really boost their confidence, encourage them to keep going. And finally, top tip number eight is you can download a free full set 11 plus mock practice paper via the link below this video. You can also head over to howtobecome.com now where you'll be able to find our 11 plus uh, resource page. Again, you'll be able to automatically download this free full set paper by leaving your name and your email address okay so that's it from me on our tips for passing the 11 plus to find out more information about the 11 plus including sample questions or uh, the appeals process and so forth you can click on the career vids 11 plus playlist where you'll be able to find all of my um, 11 plus videos or, or alternatively, you can head over to howtobecome.com, like I've said, and you'll be able to find all of our 11 plus uh, resource pages, including um, testing pages for the Kent Test, the Essex 11 plus, and the Birmingham 11 plus. So that's it from me. If you do have any further questions, or you want to leave your personal experience or anything, feel free to drop, um, drop me a message below this video and I'll personally get back to you as soon as I can. All that's left for me to say is thanks for watching everyone and I wish you all the very best of luck in your 11 plus assessment.